Hi, welcome to automation testing. In in this video, we are going to see Extent Reports Introduction Version 3. In our previous videos, we have seen Extent Reports, but uh, that is version 2. Now there are some changes uh, between version 2 and version 3. So we will see uh, all these things in this series. And uh, in the introduction part, we will see the topics like what is automation report, test ng, default report, accessibility report, extent reports, and advantages of uh, extent reports. First, we will see that uh, what is a report. In software test automation, after completion of uh, the test suit execution, we need to have a report for the execution status, and it is the only way of evidence that how many test cases got paused and how many test cases got failed. So. Uh, when you use Selenium to automate uh, your entire uh, application, then to control the execution flow of your entire suit, we will use TestNG or JUnit Test. Uh, these are uh, unit test frameworks. So when you use TestNG, it will give you one default report, and the deep, uh, default report will looks like this one. Uh, it will give you the information, but it is not eye catchy and you know. Uh, it will not flashy kind of things so to overcome that later part we started using XSLT reports XSLT reports are a bit flashy and it will give the uh, information in the form of pie chart means once you see in the report you will come to know that how many test cases got failed and passed and skipped kind of information apart from that you can see uh, each and every test case separately that what happened to the failed test cases and what is the stack trace and that thing but later part recently we uh, we are uh, seeing that uh, more um, flashy reports and you know, more inform informative reports in the form of extent reports the extent reports also uh, html reports but it will give you more information and you can add some custom information to your report and uh, you can get the same kind of pie charts you uh, know and each test case information separately kind of information uh, stuff so and apart from that you have some advantages that we can see that status will be in the shown in the form of pie chart and you can replace the existing report with the new report or append a new status to the existing report and we can change the display order of the tests and we can generate online and offline reports we can give our own name to the test method uh, means uh, you you can give some customized um, information to your test method to be printed in the report. Okay, uh, can generate stepwise log information. Can generate the tests using testing test categories. Can give test author name to display in the report. Can add a test node as a child of another test. Can insert any custom HTML in the logs by using the HTML tag. And can show the uh, screenshots in the report. Uh, wherever we need can add our own information in the report means which version of selenium we are using what environment the test suit is executing kind of information can give our own name to the html report and it uh, you can provide the information like what is the host name what is which version of os you use kind of stuff you can put into your extent reports okay uh, to see more information about the extent reports uh, you can uh, visit extentreports.com and if you go to that extentreports.com you can see two variants one is community version one is pro version in the selenium 2 you don't have a paid version but in the selenium 3 we have two versions uh, pro i mean paid version and community edition you can use community edition to generate the reports but if you go for Pro version, there are a bit more uh, options you can get, but uh, community edition also suffices for most of the uh, things. Uh, but uh, some screenshots, offline reports, these cannot be uh, shown uh, using community edition. So, uh, if you want that kind of stuff, uh, stuff, then you can go for pro version. But most of the times, uh, community edition will suffice uh, your requirements. Here, if you go to the documentation, uh, it's I means it supports uh, like uh, 
Java and .NET means if you use Java, you can generate using testNG or JUnit. If you use C Sharp, you can use NUnit to generate the extent reports. So, and you can download it from the same extent reports.com uh, slash community and uh, what you can see here you, you can get the entire documentation also how to write uh, uh, how to means how to write or use your uh, extent reports classes to generate the extent reports okay uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel for further uh, updates and please like us at our Facebook page.